Now we're going to assemble the wheels to the tractor. It's very simple. We're keyed weight in. If you look on the back, a little square notch. Set it on there, drops in. Set it on there. And it drops in, like so. Cool. And then you take, it should be a bag of screws with little caps head. Stainless steel. Always use stainless steel. And I suggest to get uh, the ball in Allen's metric. Helps you out. There should be a, a um, lock ring behind each of these wheels that stays in the, the tire itself that keeps it from backing out. And we flip this over to the other side. assembled. Next step we're going to attach the camera to the front end. As you notice there's three pins, one, two, three, and it's guide onto the uh, back end that has three holes, one, two, three. Top is the black, covers mainly the top, and we want to assemble it. And when you're assembling this make sure the O-ring is lubricated and present. If there's no O-ring, please give us a call and uh, we'll supply some O-rings. But anyway, um, pogo pins, make sure they are all depressing in and out. Make sure the pads are clean. And the assembly is pretty much a snap. Pull the color up. Take your uh, Allen wrench. Like so. And uh, then we take one step further, we take the cable. And it's the same way attaches where the camera's the tractor, the back cable attaches the same way. Got little collar pins, and it just slides in. Make sure your O-ring is, is on there. If your O-ring is not on there, it's not going to be watertight for you. Anytime we see water ingression, basically it's a non-warranty item. Here's your swivel, here's your setup. This is from 8 inch, and there's a set of another tire so you can spread out. This would go up to uh, uh, 12 inch. And then, uh, then that should conclude our setup for this tractor.